Hi, and welcome to the A Quilting Life podcast. I am Chelsea Stratton from Chelsea Stratton Designs. And I'm Sherry McConnell from A Quilting Life. And today's podcast is airing uh, Monday, September 26th. So welcome, everyone. Welcome. <laughs> it's officially fall. It is. It is actually officially fall. Yes. And I'm very excited about it. Yeah. <laughs> And you're also back on the podcast. And I'm also, also back on the podcast. Yes. I actually, that that is something that I have to say. Thank you so much for all of the kind comments, wishing that I would get better and feel well. I was really, really sick. And so mom and Billy were able to do a wonderful podcast with Susan Aki. And it was wonderful. She is awesome. She's amazing. Yeah, she's amazing. <laughs> Very talented. And I was yeah. sad that I missed it. But I am finally back, and I really appreciated everyone's concern for me. You guys are so nice. <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. We want to start out. Today's podcast is sponsored by Cozy Earth. And Chelsea and I were really excited that they reached out to us a little bit ago, and they actually sent us both a set of sheets, which we have been loving, right? <laughs> yes. I love my sheet, my Cozy Earth sheets. If you're not familiar with their company, they have kind of a wide variety of products, sheets and other bedding and even apparel. They've been actually featured on Oprah's Favorite Things for four years in a row. And the the sheets are really cool. And for us, they're, they're very soft, very cool temperature. It's so hot here. Yeah. That I really noticed a difference. Yeah. And so they are made from soft and sustainable viscose from bamboo fabrics, and we love them. And we are happy to say that we do have a discount code for your, our listeners today. You can get 35% off site-wide when you use the code A Quilting Life. all put together, no spaces. So <laughs> we'll pop up that code for you. I just want to say too, like my husband has a really hard time falling asleep because he just sleeps naturally really, really warm. Uh -huh. And he even has told me he loves these sheets. So normally I'm not out there like, oh yeah, this product, this product. Uh, we actually really, really like this one. And we've yeah. been using it for a couple months, yeah. these sheets for a couple months yeah, now. Yeah, I feel like we've had really it nice. a good six weeks now. So yeah. yeah now I just need another set. <laughs> I really do, yeah. actually. We, well, were we have the code. We were. <laughs> I know. So. We were talking about it in the car, and he just was telling me how much he likes them. And yeah, because I told him, I said, "We're going to be talking about them finally on the podcast. It's going to be really cool to share that." So yeah, no, I might use the code because they have some loungewear and stuff, pajamas. And they do leggings and stuff. That's so. what I was looking yeah. at was the loungewear because, yeah. guys, it's fall. Yeah, so we can finally wear <laughs> loungewear right. that isn't burning up our bodies right so crazily yeah so and a couple other things probably to note is they have a 10-year warranty on oh, all yeah. their products right. and they also do a 100 night sleep test so that means you could actually try it out for up to 100 nights if you don't love it you can send it back and they give for you a full a refund full refund yes yeah. yeah so that's really good yeah. too yeah <laughs> yeah i love them very like yeah. when we first got them i was like oh they're kind of lightweight like i don't know if they'll be very warm, but right. they are both like yeah. they're cool and they keep me comfortable. So yeah. we love good sheets, guys. Yes. And then a quilt on top. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I'll start. I'll start with my quilt since it was officially fall. I decided to do all things fall here. You are setting the mood. Yes. So, uh, <laughs> and it was. Well, I'll talk about this later. I just got back from a trip to Utah. I'll talk about that in a minute, a little recap. In due time, friends. Yes, but I came back very excited to decorate for fall because everything in Utah is decorated super cute for fall right now. Even Harmon's Grocery Store is oh, got a fall display out of she this world. She literally texted me pictures at <laughs> Harmon's. Yes. And I'm like, Mom, get out of the grocery store. And she's like, it's so cute in here, Dad, and I love it. And I'm like, oh, my goodness. Our grocery store needs to go look at Harmon's. But <laughs> I'm glad they're here. But OK, so on the wall is pumpkin patch. And just love this. This is made with all of the oranges and grays from our summer sweet collection from a few years back. But the good thing is, this could really be done with Simply Delightful when it is in shops. Yeah, so. or Emma. 
or, or oh well you could use the dark grays you could from use emma. the grays from emma yes yes yes. you have to wait for simply delightful simply, for orange again yeah, yeah simply delightful for the oranges but simply delightful also has a light gray right that you could mix with the oranges yeah yeah so and then on the table is fall dash and really cute different styles of pumpkins and maple leaves inside chunky little churn dash blocks. I really love this one. I yeah, and both of these quilts were actually published before and gosh, I think the one on the table was a cover quilt. It was. So, yes. And these I are all this. Yeah, these are all fig tree fabrics from a long time ago. So, and then just a couple things on the table just because I had to. So this one is actually I have a little quote on it. Life starts all over again when it gets crisp in the fall. The The pillow tutorial is a free one from Amy Cinebaldi, and I'll link that tutorial. But then I have a PDF with what I use to embroider the quote on my blog. So we'll link that too. And then this one is just a little pattern in my Etsy shop. Perfect for a little pillow or a little wall hanging. And it's just got a pumpkin if you're just listening and you can't see, but it has a star and two maple leaves and cute little Okay, pumpkin. you want to know what I love about this one, though? Huh. You did, tell me if I'm wrong, the yeah. mochi linen. I did. Oh. I used the mochi linen for the background there. For the background for yeah. when you did the embroidery for the text. Yeah. That, that is so cute because mochi linen kind of has like a rougher texture. Yeah. So mixing it with the fabrics is really nice. Yeah. And that is Corey's Fall Cozy Up, I Cozy think it was up. called. Yeah. The binding is actually from our Balboa collection. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it worked really it well. Is. And this other pillow was from okay. Summer Sweet, the I same collection so. as the quilt on the wall. So very yeah. cute, mother. Very yeah. cute. I recognize this quilting anywhere. Yes, Marion quilted that one. I quilted this one myself. I would recognize that nice, beautiful orange peel. Yes. Anywhere. Marion, yeah. if you're listening, I know it was you. And then just a few more things before we get started. Fat Quarter Shop sent these foundation paper piecing papers for uh, square, to square, square to square at five inch and six <gasps> inch. See. And then they also sent, these are one and a quarter by two and a half inch flying oh geese, goodness. which I feel is, um, I, I wonder... If that's finished. You know, square and a square really has become one of my favorite blocks, yeah. actually. And I think it's super easy with these papers. That's something that with yeah. the paper, it's really easy to do. And yeah. the paper, this is where the paper's go, like really, really comes in handy because if you're making a lot of these blocks, I just made a quilt with all of our fabric collections. Right. And that's in the Moto All Stars book. Then you really want them to line up. Right. So this is gonna help you make them perfectly. Right. Yeah. So in a couple different sizes, the same <gasps> size. And then oh, also stop it. Yes, I just had to show you this came when I interviewed Susan. I just had a digital copy, but Oh my so excited goodness. to get the hard copy. In fact, Billy, I, I left it on your table, one on your table. I don't know if you noticed when you came in. No, uh, I didn't. Uh-uh. Or maybe this is the one I'm going to put out. But I want you to get it, take it to the, oh, okay. get it spiral bound. Because <laughs> I Billy's know. That's Billy's job. Yeah, he, he takes, he lives close to the um, printing place. So I know I'm going to make more than one quilt from that book. So I always get those spiral bound. But Let me just say, because. Gorgeous book. I know everyone knows this. But Susan Aki is so talented. And Lisa Alexander is so talented they yeah. are the cutest ever. Yeah, and you put those two together, there you are definitely going to want to get that book and I'll put links to that also. In Imagine the-, the brainstorming meetings they had together. Oh, where yeah. they like 90% was probably them joking around laughing <laughs> and then they come up with this like amazingness. Yeah, and this is a bigger book too. It is bigger. I it's noticed thicker. that. Did you notice? Yeah, there's a lot yeah. of quilts in there. Yeah. There's a lot. And then two oh, really... Ex- I was going to say real quick, obviously, oh. if you didn't catch last episode, then yeah. we, my mom interviewed Susan. Yeah, for, who's on the right here. And yeah. hopefully someday we can get Lisa on here. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I would love that. How amazing would that be? Yeah. Lisa, you're invited. <laughs> we need to have Lisa and Bo on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Can I just pause and stop and talk about Lisa and her son, Bo? 
So if you are on Instagram, Lisa has been doing the cutest reels that feature her son, Bo, and it is adorable, and it has got the quilting world in a tizzy. So if you have a moment, go check the Instagram because... Yeah. He, he's like, you know, eating a bowl of cereal yes. and he's reading her mom's reading book. Reading his mom's book or he's on the couch reading his mom's book or he's wrapped wake, up in a quilt. Wrapped <laughs> up in a quilt and he's like this big masculine guy. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm just like, oh my goodness. Yeah. It's been really fun to watch those reels. Okay. And then on the Emma front, the kits arrived in the cute box from Moda. I haven't seen it and yet in person. So excited. So I had some people who had pre-ordered these, and they, um, they're all shipped out if you pre-ordered. So you are doing awesome. I got it and all. And you've been busy. You've yeah. been gone, too. Yeah. So, uh, and then just this morning, I got a notice that the pre-cuts had shipped. So fat quarter bundles, fat eighth bundles, jelly rolls, charm packs, layer cakes, all that is on the way. Which means yarded should Should be following after. within a week or two. So if you've been waiting for Emma, it's coming. It's coming and it's, it's coming. beautiful. So yeah, Mom. you'll have to take a look at this. It's super cute. Like uh, Moda does the cutest boxes. I can't remember where you open it. Uh, I might have to show it to you later so I don't hurt the box. But It's very adorable. Yeah, inside is all the fabric you need for the quilt. And yeah. It's really exciting when mom and I, after we've designed a fabric collection and then we're both coming, coming up with quilt patterns, we're always like so excited for each other if someone gets a kit. So it's really cool to see a boxed kit with yeah. someone's pattern or the fabrics. And the panels were some, that the panel was something we really, really worked hard on. Yeah. And so it's really cool to see that that was the one that they did the kit for. In fact, um, Tammy sent me this so I'd have one for myself and I actually I don't need what's inside but I love to have the box and so yeah um but then I just was thinking I wish I had your box but you have your one of your boxes right from your kit yes okay, I have the good heart they did the okay. same thing they sent it to me so you'd have the so that I would have it yeah and it's super cool I love that I got to have a kit yeah. with the good hearted yeah. Well, that was a lot of fun. I love having it to display in my sewing yeah. room. Okay, so I think we're going to move on. I was just going to – I can say a few things about the Garden of Quilts, yeah, right? Yeah, Okay. No, absolutely. I think that's uh, – yeah, you should share with that because it sounded like it was pretty neat. It was a, a fantastic event. I went the first year they had it in 2019 – and then 2020, it was shut down. And then 2021, I wasn't able to go. There was still a lot of COVID in the world. Yeah. So this year, I was really grateful to be able to go. And I had two amazing classes. I had a total of 45 students in between the two classes. Should we pop up a picture? So, oh, I do that? have one picture that we can pop up from the second day. That was that was my class with 31. And I, I feel like a couple women had already, we took it at the end of class, so a couple yeah. women weren't in there. But It would be cute to show it. Yeah. So I taught Emma's Garden and just had a great time. And then I taught Al Fresco and... Oh, it was, it's always so much fun. And this is what was really wonderful was that a lot of these women in both classes watch the podcast. And so that was really, really fun. That is kind of the first time where I've been out teaching since our YouTube really grew and since we started the podcast. And so... That was phenomenal, and I have to say this now with both of you here, I kind of waited, but I would say at least a dozen of them told me, when you go home, be sure to tell Chelsea and Billy Aww. thank you and how much we appreciate this. So, That's so nice of them. Yeah, and so they, they're like, we're telling you because you're here, but please make sure you tell them how much we love the podcast and... So that was that was really fun yeah, too. Yeah, that's so nice to of get them. that compliment for both of you. Yeah, thank you. We're glad so. that uh, it benefits people and that they're enjoying yeah. watching the episodes. <laughs> yeah, and uh, 
so many people, it seems like they'll listen to it when they're on a road trip or, yeah. you know, so yeah. that was fun too. And then what was also really neat about both of those classes too, where there were so many mothers and daughters or sisters that were there together, that were there together in my cool. classes. I feel it like in one of the cl- the class with 31, I feel like we had like maybe seven sets of either sisters wow. or mother, daughter or friends. That makes it more fun though. Yeah. When you have a best friend or a family yeah. member. So that, I just can't even say enough. It was just really a well-organized event and the weather was beautiful and a little bit of rain on the first day that I taught, but it was, it was good. So then I got to met with Jenny Doan for about 30 yes, minutes in the hotel lobby. Us. So that was fun. I hadn't talked to her in person since we had her on the podcast. Yeah. So yeah, and lots of other, let's see, uh, Bev McCullough of uh, Flamingo Toes yeah. and Amanda, I don't know how to say her last name, but ne- Jedi, Jedi Craft, Craft Girl, Girl, but I don't Jedi know how Craft to say Girl. her last yeah, name. Yeah, I know who you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, just fun seeing them in the parking lot going, yeah. you know, and uh, there were lots of other people there that I I didn't see, but I know they were there. But yeah. really great event. Are they set to do it again next year? Yep, I think and... I think they yeah I think they have dates and everything. That's so cool. I think you can get on an email list if you want to uh, be notified about that. Yeah. So yeah, really we'll great. Put the website in the description. Yeah, so people are interested. Yes, and they had. So I kind of taught before the whole thing really got got going, which was good for me because. Uh, I like to travel midweek and not have to worry about weekends driving to yeah. or from. So my classes were Wednesday and Thursday, and the the and there were other classes going on those days too. But the main events were after we were already gone. You know, Friday and Saturday were the big, yeah, big days for that event. But yeah, just had a great time. I'm glad you had a good time. Okay, so. Should we just jump into our fall? Well, we have a we have a listener quilt. Okay. A, a email that you sent me, so we, oh, that's we'll go right. ahead and sh- uh, okay. I can go ahead and read that, and then I'll okay. I'll pop the pictures up. So, uh, yeah, like we said, we're we're sharing more stories and quilts of of people, of listeners or viewers that have, you know, made one of your patterns, or or just have a story they want to share. We want to share other people's stories on the podcast. So, um, this is from Jacqueline or Jackie. And she says, hi, Sherry, the past five years, I've been in a Bible study serving the children's ministry with three of my girlfriends. Our supervisor the past three years was so dear to us that, uh, and she said the three of us stepped out of leadership for this next year, that I thought it would be a sweet gift to give her a quilt that we had made. I wanted something fairly easy to make, but also stunning, and your pattern was the perfect one. I made the front and my girlfriend pieced the back. And I think I should mention this is of your potluck quilt pattern. So she said, I also wanted to share with you that my daughter's best friend wanted to make a quilt for her grandmother, but had never sewn before. She wanted something challenging, challenging, so I showed her your pattern and she was game. It turned out beautiful. She did an amazing job even with her, even with her fabric choices as it wasn't any particular line of fabric. She just went to Joanne Fabrics and picked what was on sale. Of course, she has an advantage as she's an artist, but her goal is to be a surgeon. Uh, She said, I wanted to thank you and your daughter and Billy for all you do. I so look forward to Mondays to see what your latest YouTube video is. I've watched many of them over and over again and have shared them with my girlfriends. My daughter's girlfriend's quilt is is the one with the 10-inch chickens, so we'll, we'll pop that up on the screen. Uh, the gift from our supervisor, she's the one with, with blonde, blonde brown hair, and I'm the short one with gray hair. The picture of the quilt on the floor, I hadn't bound it, but it was the only picture I could find that showed the whole quilt. Thanks again, Jackie. Yeah, I love that. Oh thank, you. Yeah. thank you. Thank you. And we get some just, I just love these emails, so keep them coming. So. We'll keep trying to share them. And, yeah. and I'll have all those pi- yeah, pictures obviously those popped pictures up, up and everything. And so, yeah, yeah, great, great, great to hear that. Again, just like you were just saying about the people that you're at the retreat there. Yeah. It's good to hear that people are watching the videos, benefiting from them, making yeah. things for other people, sort of spreading the wealth, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Totally. I wanted to just share too, one of the students in my class the other day, I, I won't share her name or anything, but. She was dealing with a, a significant illness, 
And um, so her husband actually, she told me that her husband actually signed her up for my class because he kind of said, you know, you know all those things you've always wanted to do, you should do them now. But So she was telling me how she was trying to make some quilts to leave behind for when she's no longer able to make quilts. And she's having, the, I guess she was telling me that she normally puts the names of the grandchildren or nieces and nephews or whoever she's making them for. She puts their name and her name on the label. But for these, since she wasn't really quite sure who they might be going to someday, uh, I thought this was so beautiful. She's having the label will say, may you always be wrapped in my love. And then her name at the bottom. Stop. I'm <laughs> going so to beautiful? cry. So I just thought that was a really neat what? idea for the quilt labels for may you always be wrapped in my love and then her name. So I'm writing this down. Yeah. I thought it was beautiful. So. But also how cute is it that her husband is like all those things that you wanted to do. Yeah. Do them. Yeah. And, and she kept apologizing. She says, I'm really slow. And I'm oh. like, you're fine. And you know what she did? She got, she got all the pieces of th- that she needed for the block. So I think she had one more seam to sew, and then she would have her block finished, and she'll be able to, to finish her quilt. So that was really exciting. This is like the intense jo- – this is the joy for me yeah. in the quilting journey yeah. is stuff like this, is meeting – people and hearing those stories right we are not about to get emotional on here <laughs> yeah okay we are not about to do it it's okay oh i'm gonna cry yeah, it was really beautiful that so. is so sweet yeah billy's like it's okay well, let no, your feelings I, yeah <laughs> you can uh, i mean that that is pretty i'm, I'm, I'm not an emo- i'm not as emotional of a person as you guys but um yeah i mean that, that is that is earlier. really neat that 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 that's her. That's what she's putting on the. What do you call them again? The labels. The labels. The labels. Yes. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Which I'm realizing more and more how important it is to label your quilts. Yeah. Because someday, when your great 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 grandchild <laughs> is like, "Whose is this? What what year was it made?" Yeah. You know that info is valuable. Yeah. It's very. It's a memory. You know, a quilt um, is a memory. Lisa, Stitched with love. Yeah. I'm gonna write a poem. Lisa Alexander, a a lot of her quilts are quilted by Maggie Honeyman. And I know she always has Maggie put her name and I think the date somewhere when she's doing the quilting. And so I actually had Val do that. I finished my Moda Blockheads quilt. I can't show it today, but next podcast I'll be able to. Or you will have already seen it or... Because it is done, but the last block is being released this week. So I can't share it today. But I Ooh. remembered about Lisa doing that. And I, so I had Val. There's one block in the Blockheads quilt that has a big square in the center. It was Corey's block. Oh, and yeah. So I had Val quilt in there. Oh. Because it was made with the Emma fabrics. Um, I actually had her quilt. My name in it. For Emma. <laughs> for Emma, my great 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 grandmother for Emma with love and then I had her quilt my name and the year 2022 so guys that was really fun we are getting a little so, sentimental sorry. today I even wrote I finished that and wrote an entire stanza so okay but no but I thought about that whenever I have the custom quilting done I should just have her go ahead and put my name in it and then yes. I don't have to worry about the label yeah so, <laughs> yeah bonus idea guys. there this is when my heart gets feeling fuzzy. <laughs> okay. Well, here, well, I, I forgot to ask you guys, is there, because you had mentioned the Emma fabric coming out, does that mean that the sew along will yep. start soon after the yep. home, home so, for the holidays, right? Yes. So excited, I you guys. I forgot so that, to mention that. That will definitely be starting, I'm guessing, somewhere in October now okay. because that fabric will be here. So, And we've started filming those videos, so we need to... Get up, get them. Wrap them up. Wrap yes, them up. wrap them up. We yeah. have a lot of filming to do for this. Yeah, next time you come out. Yeah. So, I am so okay, guys. Yeah. Exciting things are happening. Yeah. And I, did we film the intro video for that already? So I think yeah. I have block yeah, we one. Did. Yeah. So we can. We're good. We just gotta do this. Get we going. can show the quilt quilted with the blocks. Yes. Those videos. Right. Yeah. Okay. So watch for that soon. And watch I think for that. I think we're going to air those videos on either Thursday or Saturday when we start. I think they 
They won't be the Monday videos, but yeah. they'll be later in the week. So whatever day of the week it is, it'll be consistently. It'll be consistently that day, that until day. this so long's over. Right. So and yeah. we we will let you know. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so our main topic today was going to be fall. I feel like we've just, I guess it's because you weren't here last time. We've just had so much to get. I know. And, and it was a rough month, you yeah, guys. Yeah. I was sick. My kids were sick. My daughter was sick again this past weekend. My husband is sick <laughs> right now. Well, and I know the last episode that we did, you had mentioned, you know, doing a fall preview episode yeah. for the next one uh, by last episode i mean the one that we were all here right yeah. and then obviously like you said chelsea got sick so that yeah. was great to have susan on and everything perfect timing yeah but now it's not really a fall preview because it's it's Cause already it's fall. here yeah. it's fall <laughs> yes. y'all okay yeah. yeah so what are your favorite fall color combination i actually okay. wrote mine down because okay. here's the deal guys you cannot beat a classic orange and cream yeah like and if you want to mix a little bit like grays in there, that's yeah. fine. But I just really love the softness of having the oranges with the, uh, you can do an ivory. I, right. I tend to go more ivory in fall because it's a little bit feels warmer. Right. But I also think the Bella 200 is, is great too. Th that's the main combination. Yeah. But I also like, for example, the quilt on the table, the fall dash quilt. I love that you have a little bit of browns and reds and greens mixed into this fall quilt. So I think it's fine if you're going to mix the oranges with the purpley the fall colors right. with some greens, even a blue like Corey's done here in this collection. Yeah. I always, teal yeah, I always go back to Vanessa's folktale collection just because I felt like it was done so well right. for fall transitioning into winter months. But those yeah. color combos, but I will never give up the orange and cream with a little bit of gray mixed in. Yeah. It's funny because before I went out of town, I had, I have, I think, two quilts with folktale. Or no, I have one folktale, one harvest road. Yeah, they're downstairs. It, right. And so I got those out before I went to Utah. And uh, that was kind of transitioning into fall. But I didn't put any of these pumpkins. Yeah, no. But then when I got home from Utah, I was like, okay, I'm getting out the pumpkin. Now it's everything. But those... We are releasing the Kraken. It is <laughs> yeah. all the fall quilts. But I'm also, uh, I just made a table runner the other day. It's actually going to be the October small project of the month. Oh, my goodness. And I used her flower pot collection, and that has kind of the deeper, some yes. deeper warm tones too. So very fallish, has some browns flower, and blues. Yeah, flower so, pot is much deeper. She yeah. went a lot deeper on those colors. Yeah. But that's the first thing I noticed when I walked in this morning. I'm like, oh, she's got them out. My favorite quilt and my favorite little cute folktale pillow that she's got on the right. couch over there. Yeah, and I also this cozy up collection. I had scraps later. Uh, sometime in August, I made a table runner and a table topper with those. So I've got those out. That was a that was a fun fall collection for transitioning yeah. too. So also, you guys, are we noticing? I we did not plan this. I am wearing like a burnt orange shirt, yeah. and you are wearing a black shirt. Yeah, we are ready for fall. <laughs> for fall, Th this is well, a. That's a good color combination. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I actually get a lot of questions about fall, just like this fall preparation or, you know, what are, th what are things that you do for your like fall decor and stuff? And it's just th these color combos, this is what you're transitioning into, but it's okay. I, that's why I like what you said about Corey's, the teals and everything yeah. from summer that you could still use. Right. Living here in Southern Nevada, it is very much a feeling when you know fall is here. It's right. not really a specific date. And the evenings and the mornings are getting a little bit cooler. And so yeah. that's when I knew, oh, we're whipping out the fall decor this week. Yep. because We're getting those pumpkins out. It literally those is the third week of September. It yeah. starts cooling down at night. And, yeah. and you're not having 99 degrees at 11 o'clock when you're yeah. watching the news. You're having 70 degrees yeah. at 11 o'clock. And trust me, so. I know because it's soccer season for my daughter and we have those 530 games and it is finally like, oh, there's a tiny little breeze. Yeah. It's okay. It's feeling all right. Yeah. All the parents are sweltering out there. Yeah. We're going to come this week. So, <gasps> Guys, yeah. my 
middle child plays soccer and it's the cutest thing I've ever watched in my life. <laughs> and she scored her first goal last week. <laughs> it was monument. Billy's <laughs> So. Billy's back there cringing, I yeah. think. But guys, oh, that's good. Proud mom moment. It was so cute. Yes. So, do you have any fall bucket list items? Things that you do every fall, or yes, actually, okay. yeah. We put a fire pit in the. There's all these things we like to do with fall. Uh-huh. We love sitting out by the fire pit and doing s'mores. And we'll have like the neighborhood kids come over. Some of my kids' best friends live in our neighborhood. And they'll just play in the backyard. And the other night, too, like the kids finally were able to use the swing set because it wasn't 120 degrees (laughs) and burning their legs when they go down the slide. And it was so nice. We, oh, also a tradition, we get all new flowers in the pot. So I just got some new mums. Oh, you did? All the fall col- colors. Where did you, you guys. get? Where did you go? Star Nursery in, in, Mesquite? La- in Las Vegas. Oh, you went to Las Vegas. A lot of I good. Need to go. They said wait one more week though and they'll have really? more stuff. Okay, I'm going to wait. <laughs> yeah, we planted our fall garden. That's something we always do as a family. So the kids helped us redo the garden. And it's just like a time where we kind of like do some yard work and stuff. But our valley has the cutest pumpkin patch and corn maze. And that's really fun out here. But yeah. it's just more like being together, like the right. togetherness of it, because we can finally go outside. Like it is hot here. Right. And we're finally going outside and doing things. So yeah, I'm excited to get some new flowers. And then, well, the day that we actually drove to Utah, they got one and three quarters of an inch of rain out here, which yeah, is it was crazy. unheard of. And my parents' power, so, all the power went out, but yeah. then it came back on. It was crazy. So, but yeah, it was, that was a real blessing to get that rain. I think we're actually back up to our <laughs> annual average of three yeah. inches by September now. Yeah. So just we're because of good. that one day. So that was great. Uh, my bucket list kind of for fall is soup. Like it's time to oh. make soup. So I made soup for the first time on Sunday and I made, it's a recipe from Our Best Bites. It's I their know what it creamy is. Corn, corn chowder. chowder. <laughs> yes. And I made it. And you know what else? I, I put some broccoli in there. It was really good. Mother. Yes. I made it a little bit healthier and... I'm going to the store right after this. I'm <laughs> making the soup. So that's my oldest daughter's favorite meal. Yeah. And it has been too hot to make it. And so we keep yeah. telling her, hey, it's really too hot to make the soup. You're right. That is one of the things we do in fall is we make more soup. Yeah. 100%. So. The broccoli though, whoa. It was, yeah, it was actually Sean's idea. He was here and he's like, hey, why don't you put that broccoli in that soup? And I was like, yeah. Of course he, of course he said that. So it was good. Had a wild grain a sourdough bread with it and a salad and where was my invite? It was so good. <laughs> so she was feeding another child. I was I feeding another her. child. Yes. Yeah. So fall projects, fall sewing projects. Have you? I I did that table run. Well, two table runners and a pillow and a and a table topper. Here's about the, the thing. extent for me this year. I had so many plans when my kids were all going to go back to school. And then I got really sick. And then my kids... Are, and let me just tell you, I think this is a part of life that is like, hey, sometimes it's just not going to happen. So I have not started anything fall yeah. yet. But who knows, guys? Possibilities are endless. Yeah. So. I'd also put a stop to our project that we were going to do because people were asking about it. I forgot oh, to mention that. I have felt terrible. Yeah. It, it, we are still planning it. Yeah. It just that really did. Yeah. Chelsea was out of commission for a while. It was two whole weeks. And we had time. I was I think in bed. We were going to do it during that time. And so now we've got to schedule a new time. And <laughs> we now have I'm, some other things coming up. So eventually, eventually it'll be Now there. I'm getting stronger, guys. Yes. Yeah. No, I am really grateful. That was not fun. So Billy and I are going to be doing that. And we do have a plan, actually. Billy is prepared. So, and I'm just more, more prepared for our banter that we're going to have. I have some fun tricks up my sleeve for our video that will be funny. I, I should also mention, too, I did a little printable that is in my Etsy shop. And I just called it the um, the Quilting Life Seasons. I'm going to do one every season. And it, it just has a lot of fun little ideas. 
Stop it right for now. For you to things that you want to do for the season has September, October, November, and December calendar pages, but I will have a new one out for December for the winter season. But it has, you know, quarterly, I, I kind of made it to go along with my quilting like planner, but you could use it even if you don't have the planner. And just a whole bunch, it's 15 pages. <laughs> and it it also has oh, a little Oh, no biggie. Holiday. I wrote a book yesterday. No, no. I've been working on this for a little bit. but Mom, you never tell me anything so, until it has arrived. Well, I made it. For, I wanted to do it myself. And then I just thought, well, I'll just make it This available. is what I admire about so, Mom. Somebody asked me about the quilting business the other day. And I always am like, you know, my mom is like, though, let me tell you about my mom. She's like, really my inspiration. Mom's over here coming out with 15 page mini books, ebooks on her Etsy shop or whatever. Mom. So this is like my life is organization and lists. Like, I love it. Yeah, good. So I'll have to give you this. So. Oh my goodness. And I'm just going to punch holes and put it in. Look book. how cute she is. Oh, so. hi guys. I randomly <laughs> just. No, I just thought about that. I had it. We're, f- <laughs> we're filming another video this afternoon for, I always do the monthly planner this is why videos. I love so. our relationship. I'm over here like, yeah, I, I have been sick for three weeks. <laughs> Mom's yeah. coming out with fun, fun organizational things. Uh, okay. So I just thought before we end, Maybe we could just, and Billy can pop these pictures up. I have one more fall quilt that I would love to have him pop a picture up. And then you have some that, so I'll talk about mine and then you can talk about yours. Oh, yes. That you, that, yeah. So that, I would yeah. love to. Okay. So these two, and then I also have one called Maple Sky and I'll get Billy <gasps> a picture and he can pop that up. Maple Sky is so good, you guys. And then there's a Maple Sky Mini, too, mm-hmm. that you can use for a pillow or a table topper. So yes. don't want to leave those out. And then your, you have a couple of really fun. So just why don't you tell us yes. about those? I have a couple of them I'll share really quick. My Hey Pumpkin quilt will pop up right now. That was also an American Patchwork and Quilting, but it's redesigned and is a pattern. And my Hello Fall quilt is very cute. And also Little Town is the perfect transition from fall to holiday season. Right. So those are the three that mainly are my favorites right now that I get out. So yeah. we'll pop a picture up of all three of those. And yeah. Awesome. And we'll probably see those on the podcast soon anyway. Yeah. So, so our next episode will be on, is it Monday, October 10th? Mm, yeah. So crazy. Okay. This is so, like the time when it goes really, really fast for yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, and we will have lots to talk about then. So, <gasps> mom sure. is out here giving well, hints. I, I, I had to note because two episodes ago, when Chelsea, Chelsea spilled the beans, that I had a podcast. I was going to actually mention this earlier. But oh, I'll do it now at the end. Um, some of some listeners of this podcast ended up searching and finding <laughs> mine, Isabel's <laughs> podcast, it. and it so. I didn't get in the... Con- I, w- I actually took a little vacation too recently. The name of the podcast is The Gringo and His Girlfriend. Yes, I'm the gringo. <laughs> and at the time, she was my girlfriend. Now she's my fiance. <laughs> and uh, so there, we have had some people follow us on our Instagram account and they found us, you know, thanks to Chelsea. And, they found and, us. And uh, found yeah, it's just funny because I told Isabel and she was a little nervous. She's like, what? I, I, I didn't... I, I, now I'm rethinking everything I ever said on the podcast. So no, don't. no, I know it's. I told her to relax. It's, I did it's that It's not too. a big deal. Um, but yeah, so so for those of you that did ask in the comments, that is the name of it. And we're not always on schedule. We don't do it as frequently as my mom and sister's podcast here. But yeah, every once in a while we pop on and just talk about whatever is is going on and. We try to tie it into like relationship things. So it's the power of the that's, internet. That's the yes. name. There that's, was that's no the way they wouldn't have found you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That is oh. awesome. Well, this is really fun. I'm yeah. actually, I don't know if you noticed when you came in, I have a whole bunch of fall stuff on the counter out there that I'm getting ready to, oh my it, it's going to be completely fall. There's going to be 60 table runners just <laughs> everywhere. All the fall table runners Trust are gonna, me, going guys. out today. So. When we walk into the house next week. Yes. Oh my goodness. So, yeah, today was really fun. I love that we're talking about fall yeah. and we are excited to see everyone next time as well. Yeah. Thanks so much for stopping by. Bye.